someone that takes care of the well and the gathering system with which the production goes through. So basically, reservoir engineers deal with the reservoir where the well is, where the oil is coming out or the gas is coming out. But us production engineers, we deal with just the well and the gathering system. We need to make sure that the well is able to produce and perform the way we want it to perform. And then we also make sure that there are no gathering system constraints. So we're able to deliver um, product, produce maybe oil, gas, uh, condensate from the well to the sales point. That's uh, our main job. I got into high school. I enjoyed math and sciences, but I knew I didn't want to be a doctor or anything. Biology was just like, eh. And then um, I sat with my dad and really talked to him about how I felt about um, math and, and, and sciences. And I was lucky because he worked for Exxon Mobil. And he said, wait, you know, engineering is pretty cool. We see a lot of engineers come in and out of the company and they, they are very impactful towards our society and how we can make money. So why don't you consider it? And I actually started off as a chemical engineer and uh, I used to see the petroleum engineers down the hall have so much fun. A lot of companies came on campus. They showed people around, um, Somberger, all these other companies, exhibitions. And I was like, that looks pretty interesting. So when I finished my uh, bachelor's degree in chemical engineering, I decided to uh, try for a master's in petroleum. And I've never looked back since. It's been an amazing experience. First of all, I love the diversity. You work with so many different people from all over the world and different backgrounds, different cultures, different understandings of the same problem, you know? And it's, it's amazing how you can learn from all these different um, disciplines and, and nationalities and, and, you know, it's just, it's really nice. The diversity makes a huge difference. And also, it helps you to learn certain things that I wouldn't have learned, for instance, I write macros now sometimes to help enhance my data gathering process. Mm -hmm. I would never have thought I would be dabbling into VBA or anything, mm -hmm. but this industry definitely helps you hone your skill set in other areas you were not expecting. Absolutely. In fact, in my company, we have what we call an asset team where you have a reservoir engineer, you have a production engineer, you have a supply chain person, you have a completions engineer, you have a reservoir engineer, you have every kind of discipline you can imagine. Everybody that it takes to take or to get the oil from the reservoir to the sales point is critical. To Oh, it's going to be a fantastic field for them. I think um, oil is going to take a while for oil or engineering to go away. So I think there's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of um, innovation that is required. We're really relying on the future generation to take us from the level we're at to the next level. And it's going to be very important for um, the, the students out there now to come in and uh, love engineering like we do and take us to the next level. So. There's a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of uh, room for improvement and growth, so it'll be great.